All right, well, we're on live. You may have to adjust my phone. Good morning, everybody. This truly is live. <laughs> uh, I hope you all can hear me. Can you hear me, Pastor Andy? I had things set up to run direct, and it, things were going to be fantastic. And now the enemy just wants to fight. So is everybody good? Thanks for sticking with us. I apologize for technical delays. Y'all with us? Andy said we're up. We're good? Pastor Andrew, thank you for checking on us. God bless you. Well, guys, here we are this morning. Uh, if you don't know, I'm Joey. This is my wife, Bethany. And um, we're just glad you're here this morning uh, for Word and Worship. Um, we're going to pray and just ask God to do um, whatever He wants to do. Uh, and then we'll get started. So dear Heavenly Father, God, we thank you for this day. Lord, we thank you for uh, the promise of a new day. Lord, we thank you for uh, watching over us in the night hour and getting us up this morning. God, we thank you for uh, being with us today. And Lord, we ask you to be with these moments as we uh, devote ourselves just for the next few moments to you. Lord, I pray that you would uh, set away any distractions Lord, I pray if we have young kids at home that they would cooperate and just let us have a few moments uh, spending time with you this morning. God, we give you praise and we give you honor. In Jesus' name, amen. So, uh, we're here in our home this morning and we are uh, just wanting to share with you just for a moment before we get into worship about um, the, the, what the Word says about worshiping through trials. And um, if you've been around Maranatha for... Uh, the past few years, you know, Bethy and I have walked through uh, the loss of a child. Uh, Sunday marks two years, uh, May the 3rd, of which we lost our little girl. Um, and if there's anything I've learned through that, it's that God's been faithful, and he continues to be faithful. And um, as as we were studying and, and um, reading some scripture about it today, uh, over the past few days, um, Acts 16.25 uh, is the story of Paul and Silas. And it says that in the midnight hour, uh, they just began to praise and they began to worship. And um, when they did that, it was when they did that, that the chains fell off. It was when not only they were set free, but everyone around them was set free. And um, I've thought about that story a lot. I've thought about that one. I've thought about Peter walking on water um, and the different things. And and what I've learned uh, through our, our situation is... Um, it dep it's where my focus has to be, is when I get to a point where I can't fix it. Nothing I can do fixes the situation, but he can fix the situation. And um, when my focus is on him, it's not that uh, the problems change. It's just that my, my faith in who he is, not in what he can do or what he may or may not do, but just my faith in who he is is strengthened, and it gets me through the situation no matter what the outcome is. And um, I have learned uh, in looking back on history of Joey is I listen to music. I cling to songs. Uh, I get in the Word, but music speaks to me. Christian music uh, speaks to me. And over the course of my life, I remember when my parents were going through a divorce, there was a song that my brother and I listened to called Hope Set High by Amy Grant. Um, I remember when my brother was walking through divorce, Healer uh, by the Planet Shakers was a song that we clung to. And I found myself doing the same thing with Riley. Um, you want to share any of your thoughts with it? Well, I was just, when we were talking about the other day, I told Joey, I said, you know, a lot of times um, I didn't feel necessarily faith. I didn't feel like things were going to work out the way that I was hoping. And, uh, you know, a lot of times your feelings will just, they'll flat out lie to you. And I told Joey, and we've heard it said at church a lot of times, you know, sometimes you have to just go back to the history that you know you have with God and the things that I were, I was raised in, the things that I knew about God in my mind, maybe that I wasn't always feeling that goodness or feeling um, him close but I, in my mind, knew his promises, and I knew who he was. And so what I would do is I would just meditate on those things and meditate on who I knew God was, even when I didn't necessarily feel those things. 
So anyway, this morning, we just wanted to share a few songs, um, honestly, that are still on a playlist for us that we, um, that we kind of yeah. clung to and songs that we would sing to uh, get us through the midnight hours and, and the scary times. And we just thought this morning that we would share those songs with you. So yeah, um, so what we're going to ask you to do is just join in with us. And no matter what trials you may be facing today, Take your eyes off of the storm around you and fix your gaze on the only one who can calm the storm, the one that can say, peace, be still. Um, that is our prayer this morning. So uh, we'll get ready to start some worship. And the wind is raging But I will not be shaken For I know Who's in control The greater one within me Is more than what's against me He's in control for I know He'll see me through like before He is Lord He is Lord I'm not afraid anymore He is Lord He is Lord Oh, yeah. 
is always true. The goodness of the Lord, it never fails me. The goodness of the Lord, it overwhelms me. The goodness of the Lord will see me through. favorite part. And when my future has been stripped away, my God is on my side. You never leave, you never walk away. Trust. 
rise up the storm passes over till the thunder sounds no more till the clouds roll forever from the sky hold me fast and let If you know that old hymn, will you sing that chorus with me one more time? Till the storm passes over, till the thunder sounds no more, until the clouds. Till it passes by, you never know. Mm. It's almost over. We got one more song we're going to sing. This is new to us, um, so we're just going to we want to speak this over you this morning. We want to sing this, um, so we'll give it a shot. Saturday was silent. Surely it was through. Since when has impossible ever stopped you? Friday's disappointment is Sunday's empty tomb. Since when has impossible ever stopped you? This is, what I this is the sound of dry bones rattling. This is the praise of a dead man walking again. Open the grave, I'm coming out, I'm gonna live, gonna live again. This is the sound of dry bones rattling. Pentecostal fire, stirring something new. You're not gonna run out of miracles anytime soon. Oh, resurrection. 
resurrection power it runs in my veins too I believe there's another miracle here in this room this is the sound of dry bones rattling this is a praise like a dead man walk again open the grave I'm coming focus on him. Uh, I want to pray as we close for those that may be going through something. I don't know. I'm not reading comments, but Lord, right now we just pray for those that are going through seasons of uncertainty, who have been told the news is bad, that things are going down. You don't think it's going to turn out in your good, but I can stand and testify today. Oh, when I can't, when you can't see it. He's already put a ram in the thicket. And you hold on to what God has promised you. You hold on. And no matter what, you hold on to the one who is the maker of the promise, the fulfiller of the promise, and the only hope. And his name is Jesus. And we give him praise this morning. And we pray that you've been blessed and we love you, and we appreciate you, and we can't wait to see you soon. God bless. Have a great morning.